Red panda Nima has found herself stuck 30 meters up in the treetops in a standoff with young newcomer Koda. Koda is blocking her escape down. She just sort of hung there for quite a while, looking quite cross. But red pandas are used to such heights. Nima's bushy tail helps her to balance, and her long, sharp claws allow her to grip the highest branches. Nima picks her way carefully around Koda, avoiding him entirely. Nima managed to get down eventually, and Koda stayed up in the big tree. But once she's safely away, Nima chooses her spot wisely, close to the food. I think Koda, you know, he, he went for the biggest, tallest tree and got into the highest, most comfortable point of it and thought, yeah, great, I've got the best spot here. Nima being in the much smaller tree next door. But in reality, she, she was much more intelligent because she knew that the food was going to turn up much closer to that tree. So she picked the best spot, really. He just assumed he had because he was higher and technically safer. Red pandas eat mostly leaves and bamboo. But the zoo gives them extras to match their diet in the wild. And Nima's happily tucking in. We spread the food around the enclosure as best as possible. Um, but there's a, a little platform that we like to put it up on. That's in the tree that Nima's favouring. She's quite smart. Through all of it, Koda was just watching from his high vantage, going, oh, oh, crap. That's my food. Just been hoovered up there by that other panda. Koda's hunger eventually gets the better of him, and he dares to venture down into Nima's territory. But Nima's having none of it. And so Koda slinks away. She's quite happy now, isn't she? She's like, yeah, screw you. I've got the food. You're stuck in a tree. It's been two weeks since youngster Koda arrived to join the zoo's lone red panda, Nima. And relations between the couple have remained frosty. They each sort of claimed a tree, and they just spent the days glaring at each other across the paddock from their trees. Bit of a, bit of a standoff. Keepers are concerned that Nima is continuing to chase Koda away from the food. We were watching Nima hoover up the majority of the food. We were a bit worried that he wasn't actually getting anything to eat. Pandas need to eat one third of their body weight each day to remain healthy. The thing with pandas is they are very fluffy. Um, but if you shave a panda, what you have left is like a, a very skinny blob. Um, they are all fur. You can't see what's going on under the fur. So they can lose a lot of weight. And it can be like right at the last minute that you notice. Coda. Keeper Pete decides to weigh Coda to see if he's getting enough to eat. Come on. Good boy. What's this? Girls? Oh. That was a perfect one. Good boy. That's more like 4.6, isn't it? Hey, okay. one more. The result is a surprise. That's it now, look. He's a good weight and he's not been losing weight. I have nothing left. It told us in, in the end that he, he is getting on well. And it's not long before the keepers discover why. When Nima's not looking, Koda is sort of, you know, tiptoeing down the tree, having a, a scarf and then running back up again before anybody's noticed. He's just in his own way figuring out how he needs to behave. 
when that means he needs to be a little bit more stealthy, sort of keep out of her way and, and do things when she's not looking, um, then yeah, that's, that's what he needs to do. The signs are hopeful that these two red pandas might just be learning to get along. We've got a few months until breeding season, so that gives them plenty of time to settle down, get used to each other. And then this time next year, we might have baby pandas. 